You've had a great year in the studio, Kevin. Your remote studio, home in China, 12 hours ahead of us, many, many time zones ahead of us, but still, you've had an extraordinary year doing extraordinary work, taking the tank to a whole new level in drawing design. I will never look at a toy tank the same way. Thank you for that. You've been fantastic, and I hope you keep up this level of creativity. Good luck next year. You have shown passion for basketball, butterflies, and art, Kylie. And I'm only sorry that drawing design was the first time that we got to meet. Your work in the studio this year, both at home and here on campus, has been tremendous. You have a great vision and a great understanding of compositional design. I know that you'll take that creativity with you next year as you move on to your next chapter. You have an incredible understanding of design, Rahil, and I'm only sorry that it is this year, your senior year, that you have taken drawing and design. We could have had a lot of fun together over your high school career. Howsoever, that's not to be. Know that you do have this incredible sense and that you can use it in all sorts of applications as you move forward into the next chapter of your life. I wish you well and thank you for an amazing year. Your two years in the studio, Sam, have been terrific. I wish it had been three or four, but that was not to be. You have an incredible enthusiasm and love of life that you bring to everything that you do, particularly what you do in the studio, where your creativity shines and you are quite adept and versatile, trying out new ideas and undertaking new materials with enthusiasm. Keep up that spirit, Sam. Celia came to Rutgers Prep showing the art department her talent and skills. We placed her in one art course, but then she wanted another art course, which is perfectly fine. And we placed her in the correct level of that other art course, my photo program. And she herself kept pegging down, all the way down to photo one. In doing so, she gave herself a solid foundation and gave her classmates excellent artworks to take note of. Ever quiet, the few words she did speak revealed her kindness and intelligence. I think it's been a great couple years in the photo studio, and I suspect you do too, Celia. Brianna puts a lot of herself in every assignment. Through a systematic index of bits and pieces of her world, each assignment documents favorite pieces of literature, coloring books that are not coloring books, objects, and so much more. Always first in the Zoom room, she has been one of the most communicative, cheery, positive additions to the class. Thanks for a great couple of years, Brianna, and I wish you very much good luck in college and beyond. Onyeka is a tremendous young man, full of hidden talents and a vibrant, curious mind. He has always impressed me with his intellect and his ability to imagine what is possible and to even explore a little of what seems impossible. His dedication and determination to achieve his desired result is unwavering. The only regret I have is that we did not have more time in the studio together. I wish you the best in the coming years, Onyeka. Keep creating and being inspired. De Chao has been a powerful producer of photographic artworks. With each new lesson, he strives to understand the process and decision-making behind the pixels. He puts himself in the shoes of the professional photographer that I lecture about in class so that he can understand how, in addition to the why and wonder behind the work, this, braided with his own creativity and drive, is what makes De Chao a winning photo student. Of course, I'll always remember his default smile and kindness as well. Two years in the studio, Dristy, and what a two years it's been. You arrived as a brand new junior, and you settled right in, as if you'd always been there and totally belonged there, which of course you do, and you've made it your home. You've got a wonderful sense of creativity, and you've developed an excellent skill base that'll carry you far. Good luck moving forward, and keep tight to your creative efforts. Simmer was fully remote this year, and don't get me wrong, I wish he was in the studio this year, but it's been fascinating to see a bunkered down body of work. Consider my fine point here, while most students presented an index of stuffed animals and keepsakes, Simmer kept a minimal and almost sanitized body of work. It had the feel of a downtown New York City body of work in its unyielding mathematic and Socratic 
portrayal. Good work, good times, good enough Wi-Fi. Thanks for a good year. Sean came to prep as a junior and decided to take my class. I'm really glad that he did. Sean brings a confidence and skill to his work that rivals higher level students, and he always pushes his ideas. It became apparent this year that Sean has an interest in brutalist architecture, a form that uses mainly concrete in its construction. This has really shaped his work for the year, and the discoveries he has made are applauded. Sean, while I will miss our design conversations next year, I am excited for your start at BU. Have confidence that it will lead you to Brown. Best of luck. What I have to say about Ben could be said by any teacher, I reckon. The quality of his work is excellent because he applies himself, is smart, keen, driven, and demands the most out of himself. And he is mature and can connect dots because he can connect with people. To cap this as a photo teacher, it's been great seeing his vision and voice progress during this very curious year. Good luck at our sinus, Ben. We'll miss you. Three years in the studio, Alex. You took us by storm, and wow, how terrific. You quickly moved up from drawing and design and, and intermediate art, bounced right into critique and production, too, without missing a beat, and your work has been consistently well-constructed throughout the duration of all the time that you've spent here. Keep doing what you do well, and good luck. Griffin has been both the easiest photo five student and the most difficult photo five student I've ever taught, ever, for the same reason, which is he knows so much and is so capable and connective, by the way, that it's challenging for me to know if I should be teaching him high speed sync or how to overpower the sun or whatever. In the end, learning and fun both happened at a high frequency. I'm pretty sure both will continue to do so next year and beyond. Your four years in the studio, Jason, three of which you spent with me, were incredibly well spent. You were curious, deeply engaged with your materials and concepts, and never willing to settle for anything less than the best that you could produce. The results spoke for themselves. I think you learned as much about yourself as an individual as you did as yourself about, as an artist. Take that knowledge, go forth, and good luck. Adnan, a gamer, has been in his happy place all year, at home, wearing headphones in front of a couple screens. I decided along the way, although I would have been psyched to have him in the studio, that we could turn this negative into a positive. Through the process of intervalometer, look it up, synchronization, Adnan can bring to light for us non-gamers what it's like to be in his seat and play and enjoy and grow. His patience and maturity is what really made this work. Thanks for a good year, Adnan. Hunter has been in my classroom over the last three years, finishing in Architecture and Design 5. I'm glad that Hunter stuck with the program. His work matured and grew each year. Hunter never second-guessed his designs. He chose a path and continually moved forward. Hunter, I am happy that you're making Cabrini your new home. I hope the community is similar to prep and wish you nothing but the best. Good luck with both the classroom and on the lacrosse field. Go Cavaliers! I have taught Joey for the past three years in architecture and design. He came in on day one, confident and ready to create. If you see a drawing or model that uses sharp angular forms in my classroom, it is a safe bet that it's Joey's. His unique style has become a staple over the last few years. Joey continually pushed the boundaries with each project, showing signs of confident and skilled designer. Joey, I know you're gonna make an impression at UC Davis. Continue to push the line of what you feel is possible back and best of luck. Your three years in the studio, Jenny, have been tremendous. You've jumped right in, dug right in, and always, always challenge yourself to find the most complex solution possible. And all of this done with almost complete silence. You don't say a lot, but you do a lot. And that is what matters. Keep doing, stay creative. Good luck next year. Let's just say up front that Eva was accepted to some of the best art schools. I'm not surprised. Her work has depth, introspection, risk-taking, style. 
and yet at times it is very personal, like a diary. This year, being in China, she has documented her world, her town. She has provided history and culture, but also personal hangouts and moments of insight. I, for one, am looking forward to seeing this artist's work grow ever greater. I began to think that I wasn't going to see you in the studio this year, Caroline, but fortunately you created your independent study, and it's been terrific. A good culmination of three years of work with this half-year course, and you've been brilliant with it. Studious, engaged, investigative, and most of all, highly motivated, which, you know, for a senior, that's pretty extraordinary. Keep bringing that energy forth, stay strong, be good. I think it is time to state how impressed I am with Sebastian this year. Regardless of the situation we have all been in, his attitude, interest, dedication, willingness, communication skills have all improved so dramatically this year in particular. The work he produced this year also shows real growth in his control, efficiency, and overall finished quality of his efforts. I will miss his conversations and formidable personality. Warren has been with me over the last three years, finishing this year in Architecture and Design 5. He is another student who comes to mind when I think about biggest steps forward from year to year. As Warren progressed in class, his design started to explore more than just architecture. While I did not see him in person during his senior year, Warren continued to be creative and solve design problems at home. Warren, Rowan accepted a student who was ready to take on each day with a smile and the challenges that lie ahead. Always be yourself, and best of luck. You've spent four years in the studio with me, Gabe, where you entered as a person who really, really liked to draw, especially dogs. And you leave, you leave as an established artist with a great conceptual understanding, a great critical ability to look at and examine things, and a wonderful artistic sense that involves everything, especially the color blue. Hold tight to this, and good luck as you move forward. Four enthusiastic years in the studio, Greg with one G, and all of it, you were an engaged explorer of expression, an intrepid early adopter of critique format, and always ready to sustain the conversation and plumb the depths of visual critical assessment. That is one of your great strengths, which coupled with your creativity will take you far. Good luck. When I think about the person who walked through the studio doors four years ago, Alex, and compare that individual to the artist who will exit the virtual door in May, I am impressed. You have developed a wonderfully creative mind and an excellent outlook on how to develop and maintain a concept. Keep that close over the coming four years in college. Know that you always have it. Best of luck to you. What a journey it has been for Emily through the years. An ultra quiet freshman transformed into a confident, expressive, polite, invested young lady in her later year. The work she creates is refined, delicate, and clean. Emily has always had a vision for her finished works, which is so often not the case with this discipline. Impressive growth on so many levels. My hope is that Emily will keep expressing herself through her creativity as she moves into her future veterinarian studies. Don't be a stranger. It has been quite the unusual year for Celine. Being mainly remote for her senior year, things have not been what one would have called usual. This change to her routine did not stop her creativity and artistry, which continued at home in light of the current global climate. She is gifted with expression, clever, capable, and confident in who she is. My hope is Celine keeps searching for the things that make her happy and complete. The journey ahead seems very bright to me. Keep me updated once in a while with your world. Four years in the studio, David. The time of the Mergis student is coming to an end. You've been extraordinary. Delving deeply, exploring widely, always curious. And it's that sort of mindset that I know you will bring to all of your studies. And I expect great things will come from your studies of space. Good luck next year. Keep your creativity tight. You will always have it with you. 
You have spent four years in the studio, Evan. Four years honing your craft. Four years struggling and triumphing. Four years where you felt, it seemed, often a bit frustrated. And then finally this year you hit your stride. And with that stride, I hope you take forth the confidence that will see you through anything. And I mean anything. Good luck. Thinking about how Jacob has grown over the years, it cannot be fully expressed in the amount of time I have to speak. Therefore, I will state in a fashion fit for this modulus of the most recent. He approaches each day with clarity, energy, efficiency, humor, effort, and reflection. I am so impressed with the role he chose to take this year. I do not think I could have fairly asked for a better performance from him. Witty, confident, bright, and determined are some of the reasons why Lehigh's engineering department will be all the better the last four years seem like months with respect to the presence and performance delivered from Belle in the studio. Her work is refined, delicate, and created with efficiency and effectiveness. She really settled into her abilities this year, and her current work is outstanding in every aspect. Her personality and smile have lit up the studio these past years. My hope is in the coming part of her life's journey, she finds some space to continue being creative. I wish you all the positivity and good luck in your future at NYU and beyond. Having met Kasha her sophomore year, the classes unfolded with her peers as if they had known each other from day one. Her personality and attitude are what make her unique and personal. She embraces the uncertain and experimentation often requiring of her introspection and the next decisions. She has a wonderful ability to defend her efforts and creations in language that is clear, concise, and insightful. I know Kasha is only a family member away for future exploits with the materials she has pursued. You have brought the same boundless energy to every single year of your four years in the studio, Rinkit, and for that, I have nothing but admiration. You may have suffered setbacks, disappointments, but never ever did you let them get in your way, and always you bounded forth, expressed yourself, and found success. You have great energy. Go forth, and good luck. Your four years in the studio, Shristi, have been nothing short of an adventure. Never willing to settle for the status quo with assignment, you always pushed above and beyond, usually with materials most people don't consider art-making materials. Bravo for you. And through it all, you have honed your creativity and skills and brought them to an entirely new level that when you go forth next year, your new chapter will serve you well. Good luck. Katie Shefflin is an inquisitive explorer of ideas and experimentations. Dedicated, hardworking, and motivated to achieve through her own efforts, she is a powerful force in the studio, wielding precision, determination, and refinement. Through exploration and investigation, she applies this knowledge to her future works. It has been a pleasure guiding Katie these past four years. I wish you all the success in the coming years. Keep in touch. In my 15-year history here at PrEP, I have only had the pleasure of teaching a few students with the qualities that Michael embodies. Selfless, supportive, caring, a juggernaut when working in the studio with his materials. He has tirelessly pursued various creative directions, never giving in to any idea not realized. His contagious positivity will certainly be a benefit to him in the years to come. I hope Michael never loses sight of all his potentials. The next chapters of his life's journey will have benefited from him being part of them. Rachel has taken four years of design at RPS. She would go down as one of four to take the inaugural architecture and design for seniors. It became clear very quickly Rachel's freshman year that she was a natural designer. Her creativity shined through with each project. Whether she is designing a display window, a full-size chair at a cardboard, or a day camp, Rachel always led by example. As her knowledge of design grew, so did her design confidence. Overall, Rachel was just a joy to teach. Rachel, best of luck at Miami of Ohio. Be confident no matter what, and you will have nothing but success. Oscar is another member of the inaugural architecture and design for senior class. Oscar made tremendous strides as a designer during his sophomore year and hasn't looked back since. Whether he's designing a window display about himself or constructing a chair fit for a king, Oscar brings forth thoughtful design. Oscar, 
I find it fitting that your final project brought together your passions of baseball and design. I wish you all the best, not only in the classroom, but in the diamond at Gardner Webb. Good luck with all your future endeavors. Sarah has been an exceptional student through all four years of her study. If consistency and determination had a face, it would be of Sarah. She attacks every day in the studio as if every minute is important. Rarely have I had the pleasure of having a student of this level. She works through ideas and forms with focus and sincerity. Curious, brilliant, kind, strong-willed, and imaginative are a few qualities that will surely aid Sarah in her engineering studies at Lehigh. The four years you have spent in the studio, Sharon, have been quiet years, but quiet is not necessarily equated to exciting, powerful, and dynamic, and that describes who you are as an artist. You have found vision and a voice this year, building upon the previous three years with great strength. Take your creativity, go forth, good luck. Dimitri through the years has grown into a self-reflecting, active learner, and a mature member of his creative counterparts. He has explored ideas, worked hard at mastering concepts and skills, as well as being an active participant in conversations and discussion. One of a teacher's favorite things is when a student, through his own realizations, makes internal connections and applies them to their work and ideas. I know that no matter where Dimitri ends up after prep, he will better the team and school as a whole. Logan has taken five courses with me during his time at prep. He worked his way from architecture and design one to being part of the inaugural architecture and design for seniors. This year, he also completed an independent study looking at site planning. Logan continually grew as a designer over the last four years. He would come at each project with a high level of confidence, never backing down from a challenge. Logan, NGIT is getting a student ready to make a difference. I'm excited for you to be pursuing design at the collegiate level. I look forward to seeing and hearing all about your feats of engineering during future conversations. Good luck. Austin has been in the studio four years, finishing off this year with the architecture and design for seniors. The Austin I have in class now versus the Austin I had freshman year is a whole different person. He matured both as a young adult and also a designer. He may still think he doesn't need to use a straight edge to draw lines, but those wavy lines are now part of a thoughtful design. Austin, congratulations on Gettysburg College. While your pursuit is not design-based, I encourage you to still take time and be creative. Best of luck with all your future endeavors. From the moment we met, the spring of your eighth grade year, Lily, I knew that the studio was where you would be. And sure enough, here we are four years later, and you've spent that entire time in the studio with me and in the photo studio too, perfecting your craft, honing your skills, and really developing a wonderful creative expression. Go forth and conquer. Good luck.